Hello, friends, and welcome. We're here live on Twitch talking about this. We just played a couple games. The patch just came out. So we're going to do some highlights here, not read through the whole thing. It's not a huge patch. Um, but anyways, we'll go through this. Actually, the first thing I should say is that Marcy came out. New hero. I won't fully cover her here, but uh, for those of you wondering, I do think she seems viable as a support. We just managed to win one game with her. Um, the other games, I wasn't able to pick her. She ended up as a core in all those games, and she did terribly. She did okay, but like they ended up losing. I think she there's room for her to be a core, but I feel like as a support, it worked out really well. And that video will come out tomorrow morning. So if you're curious about that, you can see it, and we'll also stream it tomorrow. We'll keep trying to do that. Um, so anyways, now let's talk about the gameplay updates. Um, small camp XPs are reduced by 10%. So on average, small camps are worth 100 XP, down to 90. As a support, I don't think this is the end of the world. Um, pulling is more about denying XP and creep equilibrium rather than getting yourself XP. So it's like, it's unfortunate. It'll affect you in some cases, but not like, you'll still do pulls. I think this is more for the mid lane where a lot of people are pushing out lanes, grabbing water runes, farming small camp, and stacking hard camp, things like that. Getting extra XP from the small camp to then do the hard camps. So I think it's more targeted nerf at the mid lane stuff. Will it change the meta? I'm not sure. I think it might still, you might still just have the same stuff, just a little bit worse. But I think that's what it's aimed for. Maybe it'll shift the meta a little bit. Battle Fury might come back a bit. Um, this Quell bonus got nerfed, but overall, against Creeps, it's two more damage than before. And for everything else, heroes, towers, etc., it's five more damage. So Battle Fury becoming a little bit better besides just farming. And uh, it's been in a pretty bad spot. So will this be enough? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. People will at least test it, and then we'll find out. Bottle's getting nerfed, but this won't be a big change to most people. It's mainly the late-game bottle, where you can hold power runes for a really long time to find, like, the perfect fight with double damage. I mean, it applies early, too, but it's not... Mid laners just have to be a little more timely with their ganks when they find a good rune. Uh, they can't hold on as long. And so, you might feel a bit more forced if you're a mid laner. And for everyone else, like, if you see the enemy mid laner get a good rune you might you know be safe for like 90 seconds and then that's enough most of these other item changes are relatively small ups and downs so i, I don't want to read through all of them fade grenade no longer applies the attack damage um, so if you were earth shaker players you don't need this anymore and that was really the main case that people were using it for it's more of a support item now i think um yeah a lot of these small ups and downs uh, psychic headband won't trigger lincoln's anymore that's probably a good one to know um silver edge probably still popular on certain heroes but a little worse and many of these just getting small gold prices ups and downs i'd say skull basher looks a little better vlad looks a little better and carries might actually finish some wraith bands if they really need the armor um, but besides that many of these are just like little buffs and nerfs let's get to hero changes um kind of the same deal many of these are small ups and downs bane was really strong received some nerfs here I think this probably just makes him a viable hero rather than a super strong hero. Lost a little base damage, cool down a little longer on Nightmare, armor down by one on the talent. But ultimately, like, he still does kind of the same stuff. And if the meta is to still focus a lot of gold on carries, then he'll always be able to BKB Pierce alt. And that kind of, that's what makes him good. Like, being decent in the lane and then having that BKB piercing alt. So I don't think this is enough to, like, remove him from the meta. I think if you like Bane... I, I'm guessing he'll still end up with like a plus 50 win rate, but it won't be so high. Uh, I don't play enough Brood to know if she's back from this, but she's like slowly getting buffs. We'll see. Chen looks a lot better. Well, maybe not a lot better, but like decent. Still not going to see a lot of Chen players in your pub, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, let's see. Earth Shaker. I think you can still play him as an offlaner. They nerfed his Fissure mana cost at level one. I feel like that hurts support earth shaker a bit more so i think support shaker probably still not in the great spot core earth shaker maybe not so popular but decent um oh and the enchant totem nerf no longer grants cleave to range heroes i didn't even know it did this but this is pretty much morphling uh it's a direct nerf to morphling it won't really affect earth shaker at all morphling rubik when he happens to steal this and then ability draft players so it's mainly to hurt the Morphling combo. You'll probably still see it. I think it's good enough where, like, when it's a good game for it, you'll still see it, but at least he won't, like, way cleave on the hits. Uh, so whatever. Elder Titan got some early game nerfs, but by the 
the late game or when he has astral spirit maxed it's pretty much the same if not a little stronger because he gets more move speed though the vision did go down and that was a significant part to it again et not a very popular hero so this probably doesn't matter that much to you but i don't it'll hurt his laning a little bit i think in the mid to late game it's still the same though but he he had a lot of good laning matchups that's why people were picking him so much because it was like whatever he will always get by in the laning stage and this hurts that a bit um ember spirit Okay, I actually should have tested this a little bit more. I think there's slight room to catch him now. Like, for example, you could Yules, and if you have really good timing, you can stun him in this 0.1 seconds before he can activate Fire Remnant. Whereas before, I think he, like, he always gets it off in like a lot of those kind of cases. So I think this adds to a bit of the skill cap, maybe makes it so like Jakiro Yules, like Yules Ice Path stuns him rather than always getting out. I think is how this should work. Sorry, I should have tested that. And then the uh, Scepter got uh, nerfed a bit, reducing the mana cost. I think you can still play him. I think that is specifically a nerf to, like, the Refresher build, but it's probably still possible. Not enough of an Ember player. Slight Grimstroke buff, removing or reverting the change uh, where Inkswell went from three to four seconds. That was too bad. Like, that, not like I'm regretting that. Like, I think that was a bad nerf or, or change. I don't even know if they meant to nerf him. Like, it seems like a buff, like, oh, you get the move speed longer, but it just took longer for the stun to go out. So I think reducing it to three seconds is a buff. Um, so I think he could be played again. Grimstroke seems like he fits the meta, but he just wasn't being picked. I don't know if this is enough to bring him back, but a lot of the other popular sports are getting nerfed a bit, so I think he could come back. Um, IO slightly nerfed, probably still viable. High level games thought he was broken, so now he's just probably normal. You still won't see him as a, like, a pub player very much. Keeper of the Light, some buffs. I think you could see some like early tempo drafts around this spirit form change. This seems big to me, but he is a hard hero to coordinate in pubs. I, I'm saying that a lot, but like really, a lot of these heroes are, and so like I don't know how much this change will affect a lot of people. You'll probably still see Keeper of the Light stealing your farm with Q and not knowing what to do. Eh, what can you do? Lena support was kind of dead from last patch, and this kind of targets the Lena core. Probably will see her a bit less. Lion got 15 more mana on his Earth Spike at level 1. I think that hurts a lot. He's been pretty viable for a long time. You can probably still play him, but I think going like QW level 2 is going to be harder. You're definitely going to need a bunch of mangoes, and you might see people switch to more of like the QE build. Um, but after that, it kind of evens out. So if you still like Lion, you can probably get away with it. Uh, Magnus, another broken hero. They removed the stun from Horn Toss and made it a 100% move slow and attack slow. Or sorry, 100 attack slow. So it still repositions, but you should be able to get off like BKBs, things like that when he uses Horn Toss. And so that way he can't like pull you miles away from the fight after the Horn Toss. You have time to react. And the skewer range and the talent also got nerfed. So instead of being five miles away, you're just four miles away, but that's a little closer, so... Uh, let's see small nerfs monkey king support is probably in a bad spot now they the one second on primal springs not too bad but the boundless strike going up by five seconds at level one i think that is bad it's uh because you wanted to max primal spring first and that means you have a one second stun on 28 second cooldown like that's pretty garbage <laughs> so that means like you might have to max boundless strike first but then you can't really farm with the primal spring level one so i think it's probably still viable but not as good as it was because it was kind of it's kind of busted i'll be honest so now it's like i think it's you could do it but i'd put it like a little bit below the 50 percent win rate is my guess just off this boundless strike cooldown but i could be wrong maybe it won't be too bad um uh, morphling nerfs and the uh, the Scepter no longer giving reduced cooldown. You didn't have to build Scepter on Morphling, so I think you'll still be able to play him. But the Scepter builds with, like, Earthshaker is definitely targeted. Um, Omnite, some slight buffs. I think this could be okay. I think you still might skip Degen Aura for stats. Maybe one value point for 14%. But at max level, it's 1% higher. So, like, I, I, this is not a big change. This OD buff seems nice, 10% more max mana, so I think we might see more ODs, if not people just testing him. Pudge lost 25 mana off the level 1, or, or all, level meat, le bleh, all levels of meat hook, so I think this could actually be quite good for his farming ability, because they changed it so you could insta-kill the creeps, that's cool, but he had no mana to do that. 
But when you reduce the, the cost by 25, like, yeah, now he's got some mana to do that. Slight shard nerf, but I, I don't think it's too big. Um, let's see, small changes there. Uh, the Scatter Blast cooldown on the shard for Snapfire going down. She was pretty popular. I think you can still play her since you didn't always go for the shard build anyway. So I, I don't think it's a massive change. But when you did the, like the blink shard build, which was pretty strong in the right cases, um, that has been nerfed. Spectres, Ags has got 10 more seconds on it. So it's now 40 second cooldown. I think that's a good nerf. Um, global ganks on 30 seconds is kind of absurd. 40 seconds puts it in line with Boots of Travel at twice the price. Uh, of course, you get stats with it. So I think that's more reasonable. Uh, Spirit Breaker, some buffs. We did try to play Spirit Breaker today. Didn't feel that great, but I kind of blame my teammates because they didn't really pick cores that enabled me to gank anywhere. And let me tell you, he still suffers from the same problem. If you don't have a laning, it feels really weird to play Spirit Breaker. I didn't know what to do. Um, and I don't think this buff really changes that, but it is a buff to him. Uh, Storm Spirit nerfed, still saw him in like three of my games. So I guess, guess it's fine. Um, but his ganking should be a little worse because the, the cooldown's up by six seconds at level one. Um, small Tide Hunter nerf. Actually, is isn't not that small. It's a 30 mana cost, now up to 40 mana cost, and it's 10 mana at every level. Um, so that really does add up, but I think you can still play this hero, and it'll just be a little worse. But I might be misreading that, because like 30% more mana is quite a lot. So yeah, I don't know. Um, Tinker, increased mana cost by 15 at level 1 on Rockets. I think that's a big deal. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know. This is a big deal, but then this one I was like, eh, it's okay. I, okay, this one probably is pretty significant. You cast Anger Smash a bunch, so like 10 casts, that's an extra 100 mana. So it probably is quite significant to Tide, as this is significant to Tinker. They should both be a little less oppressive in the lane. Tiny got nerfed a lot. Um... Pretty much he just does less damage, is the summary of it. Before he did crazy amounts of damage, all of that just got toned down a bit. I think he's like, he's probably more in line as a normal viable carry rather than stupid broken first pick every game. Void Spirit also got a similar change to Storm Spirit where the cast point on Dissimilate went from 0.2 seconds to 0.3 and he was already possible to catch a little bit, um, but now it's just a bigger window where you have like 0.3 seconds to try to like stun him chain stun things like that out of yules um like lena stun out of yules you have a bit more of a window to get him before he dissimilates things like that and the damage got reduced in general uh from him uh weaver was another broken hero the main change here is that he reduced his mana costs so weaver had like no mana issues but he was still able to like use all his spells as he wanted so now he has to be a little more conservative buy a couple more clarities and i think that's a good nerf to the hero uh, and then Zeus got a bit more movement speed, but I, I don't know that. He, he it's like kind of kind of like Spirit Breaker. He has the same issues whether or not with these small changes, but maybe it's a little bit. Maybe it's bumping him up. And actually, now that I think about it again, with the Spirit Brothers all being nerfed a little bit, um, and with like Weaver going down, who else? Tiny, Monkey King, these people who are like really mobile, high burst. Zeus hates that. So maybe with all of them getting nerfed, maybe that gives a little bit of a side buff to Zeus. So maybe we see him a bit more. I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.